Hi, I'm Daniel Mettler from Tusic Internet Solutions, and in this short video, I would like to get you excited about Grunt. Now, you've probably heard about Grunt and Gulp and whatever, and you've probably never really figured out what it would be for and why you would care about it. So in this video, I'm going to show you real life examples of how to work with this. Because um, what I want to do is that I want to make sure that you discover all the great things you can do with it. To be honest, working in the future kind of development style with JavaScript has a lot of automation necessary and Grunt is the thing to do it. And I just want to show you kind of a few things that we do with it so that you get inspired and want to get started as well. So we're going to focus on JavaScript development and we're going to walk through a real project and I'm going to explain the basic parts and what they do. So I'm just going to do a very short live demo um, just so you see something happen. Um, I'm going to go to Visual Studio right now and I'm just going to change something. It doesn't really matter what. Um, let's say I'm going to comment out this stuff here. And I'm just going to save this now. And you'll see something happening here in the background is a, lo a lot of command lines running. And what it just did is lots and lots and lots of stuff. It just probably did about 10,000 operations within a few seconds. Let me just, uh, just do another tiny update just so you see something happening. Um, you'll see something's running, running, running. And if I show you the full protocol, it did a lot of stuff. You don't really need to know what it is right now, but it just did lots. And this allows me to, in this specific example, have all my files all split up between lots of folders and everything. But at runtime, I just have like two files one JavaScript with everything in it, one CSS with everything in it. And I'll show you more about that in detail. But I just wanted to get your first impression. What is Grunt? Basically, it's a command line which you don't even really feel, which automates lots and lots of working steps. So what are we doing? We're going to save thousands of hours. We're making our work much more efficient and it also runs faster in the browser. We're killing thousands of bugs. JavaScript development is very difficult and very error prone if you don't have tools to assist you and Grunt is one of the best tools to help you. Uh, makes development easier and it just helps you bundle and get external projects in and all that, all in one thing. So just so you get an idea of the stack, what is actually happening is you have Node.js installed on your computer. That is the bottom part here. And it's just the engine. You actually never feel it. It just works. Then you have Grunt, which you also barely feel at all because um, Visual Studio understands Grunt. Um, if you'll see, I'm working here on a Grunt file. It's even going to show me the icon for Grunt. So it even knows that I'm working on a Grunt file. It offers me the, a lot of IntelliSense to get things done and, and work on it. Also, there's a certain definition packages called NPMs where I would say what components that I need. And Visual Studio understands most of this stuff and helps me to work with it. So it's pretty seamless for you. And Grunt is the tool that takes care of running things. So it's actually more or less just like a batch file system. And you still have to create the batch files, but Grunt is the JavaScript based batch file system for you. And then there's thousands of plugins which do things for you. Convert TypeScript, convert less or SAS, uh, compress JavaScript, uh, update the JavaScript so it conforms to a certain standard, all those kind of things, but it does a lot more too. So let me just show you some more examples. Um, in the new version of Too Sexy Content 8.1, we have this source editor. So this is an, a new tool which we're introducing or a much updated tool. And one of the cool things that it has, for example, is that I will be able to type uh, things like, um, like I would like to make a loop and it'll create a draft of a for each loop for me. And I can say, okay, for each employee. And um, this is the dynamic. It comes from the list of employees and that's it. And now this kind of a snippet is really practical. Now we already were working on creating a full catalog of these, but this is hard work and we would like to do it in Excel. So each snippet has a few values, like is it a C sharp snippet? Is it whatever? Um, but the runtime is JSON, but managing it in Excel would be the best way to do it. So we're using grunt to help us bridge the gap. What's kind of happening is here that I have an Excel list containing all these snippets. And whenever I change something, let me just go to the for each snippet we just had. Um, here was the for each loop. Let me just add something. Not a very important. Now, the moment I press save, a grunt job is going to convert this to JSON for me. 
Um, I don't know if I can find a trick to show you this. Let me just put this on the side here and here. Now the moment I, here's the build snippet grunt job. The moment I press save, you see it re registered, the file has changed, and within seconds it's going to update the snippet catalog for me. And this is all fully automated, so this is just very simple. Without grunt, you would end up either editing it in JSON, which sucks, or you would create some web services which try to do the same thing, but it's a lot of work. And with grunt, it's like find the right plugin, 10 minutes of configuration, and you're set to go. It's awesome. So let's just give it a try. Um, it may be that since this is all cached on the browser, it may not be very easy to demonstrate, but let's just see if we can get that to work. Let me just uh, control refresh that. And now if I check out the four snippet, uh, the loop, I called it here, I now have the three dots in here. You see that? That was super. So that's just one example of doing it. And what actually Grunt does is there's a plugin that watches for file changes and a plugin that converts to JSON, and that's it. So in Visual Studio, by the way, let me just show you this. This is my develop Grunt file. This is all I had to configure is I had to say this is my options, this is where the file is that it's supposed to watch, this is where it should go at the end, I want a JSON format, there's other options too, and there's the watch which watches the Excel file. And so that's basically it. And it's very simple, this kind of automation would just take you forever to do in any other technology, and it wouldn't be as universal because there would not be enough plugins to get it to go. Now, a more common scenario is actually JavaScript compilation. I put this as a second example because um, once you do it, you end up adding a lot of steps to it. And I'm just going to show you part of it so you get an idea of what we're doing. But this is something you usually grow into, and it needs a, a bit of time of learning, but it's worth every single second you're going to invest. So let's look at the previous example where I just commented something out. Um, so what is it about? Right now we are working on a new WYSIWYG um, tool for Too Sexy Content based on Tiny MCE. So uh, let me just find an example that actually has WYSIWYG text. Here we go. So here's my new visual designer. Um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's completely invisible. When I click on it, it appears. And what we're doing is we're adding drag and drop support. So let me just give you a simple demo of this. Um, I'm going to quickly open up some files and uh, let me find a picture to upload. So what we're doing is we're adding a functionality, just drag and drop the picture into it. And, and then in the file management, you get to click on it and it appears. Now, very simple. Uh, very elegant. Uh, something's not quite done. Otherwise, it would have added the picture while I dragged it in already. Um, but yeah, there, that's better. So that's something that's not quite done yet, but we're working on it. And the point is it should do something different if I add a PDF, for example. So if I would go in and say, okay, I wouldn't like to add a picture. I would like to add, I would like to link a file. Then it should do something different. But at the moment, it doesn't do that. So the same applies if I would like, let's say I would insert a, a VCF file. It, it should just link it, right? But it doesn't do that properly yet. So I'm going to add this step. This is what I commented out previously. And more or less, it just says, you know, if we're in not in the image mode, it should add that. Now, if you'll see here, I really have hundreds of files. And this is not even the only project. But at runtime, if you look at my distribution folder, I like have one file which combines everything of edit into one single JavaScript, one single minified JavaScript for a fish. Ah, that's a CSS. One minified JavaScript, which is compressed, and a map file for debugging. And creating all this would take a lot of work, but Grunt does it all for us. So the moment I press save, I'm going to just Again, make the view a little bit larger here. I'm going to stop the processes. Uh, I'm going to close that one. OK. The moment I press Save, you'll see it kicks in. It's been monitoring all those files. And it says, OK, something needs to be done. And it realizes, whoop, this file has changed. Yes. And this took it three and a half seconds. But trust me, we're, we're really doing a lot here. And what happens now is I'm going to um, have to refresh this dialog, of course. Let's leave the page. 
I'm going to open up the dialog in a new window so that refreshing it will be easier. Um, and now I should be able to link this by itself. So what we're actually automating is not the programming itself, but a lot of the steps to make good code. And what you should also know is if I would have made a little mistake in here, let's say I would have forgotten that, then the system grunt would have said, oops, you messed up. And this kind of intelligent control before I even run my application is what we're kind of used to from C Sharp development, what's been always been missing in, 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 in grunt. So this is just a short taste. We're doing lots of other things. We're doing bundling of packages. We're extracting files from libraries and combining them into new libraries. We're doing lots of things. If you want to try it out, you can look at our stuff at GitHub. But to be honest, it's probably better um, if you um, start with simple examples first because our examples are already fairly sophisticated. Um, there's another blog which I wrote recently about what you need to install to get started. And I'll post some, some more videos, but I just hope this will get you excited and will actually just get you started in using it because this is the thing without this you will not be able to survive in a future of development. Thank you for watching. Daniel Mettler, Tusik Internet Solutions in Switzerland. Bye-bye.